Looks like Michael Myers is coming home, eh? What's going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? This is the Knights of Horror, Anthony here. And yes, today we got a new maze announcement for both Orlando and Hollywood. And, like always, I'll read you the tweets, give you my thoughts, etc, etc. So let's get started. By the prigging of my thumb, something this way comes. And then we got this video. After that video, he started a tweet rant like he usually does per uh, the maze, explaining the timeline, uh, story, or synopsis of the maze, and here is that story. On October 31st, 1963, a 10-year-old boy named Michael Aubrey Myles Myers brutally murdered his sister with a knife in their family home in a small Midwestern town of Haddonfield, Illinois. Michael was taken into custody by the local authorities and committed to Smith's Grove Sanitarium to serve out a life sentence under the supervision of psychiatric psychiatrist uh, Dr. Sam Loomis. Fifteen years later, Michael escaped from Smith's Grove to return to the scene of his crime. During one terrible night, October 31st, 1978, Michael murdered four people and was about to claim a fifth victim, a teenage girl named Lori Strode, before being shot by Dr. Loomis. But you can't kill the boogeyman, and the terror the town of Haddonfield experience on Halloween night 1978 was just the beginning. Michael survived and followed Laurie to the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital where, his resu where he resumed his killing spree. The carnage finally ended in a fiery confrontation between Michael and Dr. Loomis, a confrontation that left Loomis scared for his life and Michael in a medical coma. Ever since the events of that terrible night, the town of Haddonfield has lived in the shadow of, his own, of its own personal boogeyman, Michael Myers. Ten years later, October 30th, 1988, Michael awoke from his coma as he was being transferred back to Smith's Grove, killed the medical personnel escorting him, and escaped custody. Dr. Loomis knew exactly where Michael was heading back to his hometown of Haddonfield to resume the killing spree he started a decade ago. For Loomis, uh, for Loomis knows something about Michael that no one else seems to grasp. Michael is no longer mad. He's squeak. He is quite simply pure evil. Pure evil never sleeps and never dies, and the town of Haddonfield is about to wake up to an all new nightmare. Welcome to Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. And then he goes on to say, And now for some info on Halloween 4. This maze is being constructed in the Waterworld queue where Titans of Terror was in HHN 2017. Since Michael, Myer, since Michael was left out of that party, he's throwing his own. We've done Halloween, Halloween 2, several cameos for uh, Halloween 3 and Halloween 4. And now Halloween 4, working our way through the franchise like all previous Halloween mazes at HHN. This one will also have some Halloween 3 Easter eggs. The maze, as the title would suggest, is based on Halloween 4 and will feature the score from that film, including the 1980s, the 1980s eyes uh, version of John Carpenter's iconic theme, because 1980s synthesizers are scary. Dr. Loomis will make a cameo in the maze. Uh, I'll beat, I'll beat the badly uh, burned Loomis from Halloween 4. You'll see the various uh, iterations of Michael as well that were featured in the film. And lastly, I did give a clue for this maze. Some of you got it. I said the code name for the maze is the name of a famous rap artist that has never attended HHN to my knowledge. Ice-T, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar have all attended HHN, but as far as I know, Eminem has never been to HHN. Eminem, M-N-M. Michael Myers, get it? So that's today's announcement. Still more to come. Stay tuned, boys and ghouls. So that was today's announcement for Halloween for Michael Myers, the return of Michael Myers, both for Orlando and Hollywood. Now, here are my thoughts for this. This was already leaked, uh, I think, a week or two ago as of this recording. And so we knew that this was coming with Poltergeist, that announcement last week. 
Um, the question still hits a lot of HHN fans though, is why are they doing Halloween 4 and not Halloween 2018? Um, my good theory to that would be maybe they don't want to give too much away for Halloween 2018 because from the trailer we saw, it looks very intense, it looks very good, it's picking right up from Halloween 1, so maybe he's trying to get all the franchises done. If he really wanted to, he can do Halloween for the next couple years and have mazes lined up and people will eat that shit up because honestly, I'll eat it up because I love Michael Myers, he's one of my all time favorite serial killers and yeah. Another reason why they probably couldn't do Halloween 2018 because maybe he couldn't get the rights to it, or it might be featured in the rumored Horrors of Blumhouse 2 because we might get a little teaser trailer to uh, maybe a walkthrough trailer for Halloween 2018. Very much looking forward to this maze though. I have not seen Halloween 4 in a very long time, so it's going to be good to rewatch it, refresh my memory to see stuff that I want to see in the maze that I don't want to see in the maze. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this. It's, it should be fun, especially in the water world queue. SoCal Exploring actually called this one saying that uh, it's going to be in the water queue. So props and shout out to SoCal Exploring for calling that one. But yeah, guys, very much looking forward to Halloween 4 coming to the event. It's good to see Michael Myers come back and stuff like that. And yeah, guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. I know I posted, I think, two videos yesterday. Um, and check those out. I did a breakdown on the Poltergeist, all the scare zones, and the Terror Tram. Uh, and a mindless horror news so be sure to click that bell notification that subscribe button because content is coming hot we are literally weeks away from events opening up and i'm very excited to go to a lot of them this year halloween horror nights of course not scary farm um horror made here i'm gonna try to go to dark harbor so be sure to be, uh, be on a lookout for my channel because a lot of content is coming your way Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Follow me on my social medias, obviously. You're going to have one that's uh, the Twitter, at Knights of Horror, uh, and then one for my Instagram, at the Knights of Horror. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.